Today we had some very good hearings on audit in the Fed. We had a couple panels. GAO was there describing their audit that they have re released just recently as a consequence of the Dodd-Frank bill from last summer. It wasn't a full audit, but it was very helpful. Also, we had Dr. Arbach from uh, Texas, University of Texas here, as, as well as uh, Cato representative being here to uh, testify. And uh, the information to me was uh, very, uh, very enlightening. It tells me that there's a lot we need to learn about it. We need a full audit of the Fed, but we did get a lot of good information and a lot of emphasis on the need to know more about the Federal Reserve, know about their monetary policy, as well as uh, their policy where they're supposed to give us full employment. The next step is to get a bill that will give a true audit of the Fed, and it should be uh, every year. Uh, this is a one-step audit. It's more than we've ever had before, but we need to pass another bill that uh, eliminates the prohibitions. There's prohibition in the code right now, which Congress passed. Uh, uh, saying that we can't audit the Fed in certain areas like overseas transactions. Overseas transactions are very, very big. Today we know that the Fed was involved with uh, about $15 trillion in the bailout. A third of it went to foreign central banks and private banks overseas. And this is very disturbing. At the same time, just think of all the people who have suffered in this country, all the people who have lost their mortgages and their homes. At the same time, we're bailing out the central banks. Right now, the Federal Reserve and our Treasury is very much involved in uh, the bailouts going on in Europe, and quite frankly, I believe we will end up bailing out uh, the banks that hold this Greek debt. This is the number one reason why the American people should be very concerned 